from Buckingham Palace as well. We'll bring you more on that in just a second. But let's take you to London and uh, bring in Cindy Palm with more on what we're learning in this op-ed piece. Heather, this was a deeply personal piece in which Megan um, said that she was uh, changing Archie, her son Archie's diapers, when she felt a cramp and knew that something was wrong. And here are some of the uh, very emotional passages for the piece. I'll just read them for you here. She said, I knew as I clutched my firstborn child that I was losing my second. Losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many but talked about by few. And she went into detail about how as she lay in a hospital bed holding Prince Harry's hand, they were both crying. She um, asked herself how they would heal and this opinion piece was written in the wider context of the pain that so many people have endured uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, Megan also touched on other issues, for example, the police shootings in the U.S., the protests uh, that have sometimes turned violent, uh, the presidential election that's been disputed by one party. And here's another part um, of this article that she wrote. She says that the polar that polarization, coupled with the social isolation required to fight this pandemic, has left us feeling more alone than ever. But she also says that people are more connected than ever because of their grief and that it is important to care for one another and ask each other if uh, we're doing okay. Heather? In terms of reaction, as I mentioned, people applauding um, Meghan Markle for going public with this and sharing her experience, Buckingham Palace has just reacted, sending out word, interestingly, Cindy, that this is, in their view, a deeply personal story and uh, something that the palace would not comment on, which kind of uh, really reveals part of the reason why maybe they've chosen to live in the United States in Los Angeles. Is this something that Meghan Markle could have done if she and her husband, Prince Harry, were still in their palace and still working royals? Yeah, senior members of the British royal family do not uh, comment or disclose such personal details. And you heard it all when Buckingham Palace said today that they do not comment on personal matters such as this. Now, according to Reuters, they are also reporting uh, from a palace source that the family is, um, the royal family is understandably saddened um, based on this news that was disclosed in this New York Times article. And that's according to a palace source, and uh, Reuters is reporting on that. Uh, but to answer your question, Meghan and Harry, as they forged this new life in the U.S., they moved there earlier this year. They are no longer working royals. They've been very, very um, vocal about so many issues. They encouraged people to vote. They supported the Black Lives Matter protests. Megan called them a beautiful thing uh, when they're not violent. And also this article touched on George Floyd, the uh,